Well, good morning. This morning, our scripture is found in Hebrews chapter 3, verse 4, and it says, For every house is builded by some man, but he that buildeth all things is God. This morning, I'd like to talk just a little bit about the culture that we live in. It's a self-centered culture. Have you noticed that? It's just about me. It's not about you. It's about me. We, uh, we've lost our way, folks, in raising children. And it's really unfortunate because what we have is a me crowd. And uh, our kids, uh, if they want something, their parents or grandparents buys it for them, whether they need it or not. If it's trendy, it's okay. Uh, you know, so we have little kids going to school dressed like pimps and prostitutes, unfortunately. It, a, a movie couldn't even portray this, what I see, and the way that things are turning out. It is absolutely ridiculous. This, this, uh, spoil the, uh, uh, spare the rod and spoil the child has been discarded. There is no correction. They put them in the corner for 10 seconds, but if they scream out, well, they'll go get them a candy bar. It's, it, I, I tell you what, folks, it's, it's sad. It's sad. We raise them up, uh, in this self-centered culture and they, they run around with guns. And if you happen to, uh, have a good pair of tennis shoes on, they'll kill you for that pair of tennis shoes. There is no respect for person, none whatsoever. Life means nothing. It's only me. It's only me. It's my prayer, and I hope your prayer also, that we fall on our knees and cry out to God to send a revival to turn this situation around. If not, we won't have a situation. No. No, it'll come to an end. It'll be a genocide if we don't change things. You know, we've, we've taken God out of school. He's not even allowed to be there. No. No, there is no prayer in school. No prayer before test. No, we don't have that. We have not taught that to our children, to our grandchildren, to our great-grandchildren. We're paying the price today for removing God out of our society. And it's time for a good old Holy Ghost filled revival that sweeps across our nation, turning hearts back to God. Because our preachers in the pulpit, they're soft towing it so people will come back. They're not telling, they're not preaching the gospel, they're telling you fairy tales. Everything's going to be all right. Just keep smiling. Send your money. You see, folks, this world that we're living in is full of evil. And we need to turn our hearts back to God. You know, Second Chronicles 7.14 says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, wicked ways, 
Then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Folks, we need our land healed. Don't you agree? Call out to God today. Let's just have a prayer meeting and let's call out to God to come save our land before it's totally destroyed and taken away. Folks, I love you. But better yet, Jesus loves you because he died on the cross for you and I. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.